Yo, what is good, Sammy Out Squad? I just want to give you guys a big shout out for all the support you guys have shown across all my social media platforms and in Madden 21 this year, man. The Sammy Out Squad is the greatest. We are the best. We are undefeated. So we are going to do a big banger giveaway of the Madden 22 Dynasty Edition, man. The most expensive, the best way to get yourself off right in Madden 22. So it's going to be on my Twitter account, at Samios YouTube. I'm also going to leave the link to the giveaway in all of my YouTube video descriptions so you can find it there as well. But all you have to do is hit the like button on the post, hit the retweet button on the post, follow me at Sammy House YouTube, and tag one friend on the post as well. It shows in the graphic everything that you guys have to do on the Twitter post at Sammy House YouTube in my pinned tweet and in my YouTube video description. So make sure you guys are entering. It ends on August 6th, man. Good luck to all of y'all. I can't wait to see y'all in Madden 22. Hey. What is good, Sammy on Squad? Back at it again with another video here today, man. It's King of the Packs, episode 13, man. We still got a few more weeks left of Madden 21, and then we get to hop out of Madden 22 and see what new packs we got in store for us for the year. So, if you guys don't know what King of the Packs is, I rank every coin and training pack in Madden 21. Put it on the tier list. Every time I put a pack on, I'll show some of you guys' big banger submissions that you guys posted on my Twitter post for King of the Packs. Again, submissions are open Friday through Sunday. I'm still waiting for EA to lower the pack prices. I don't know. It's like, bro, we have like two, three weeks like until Madden 22. Where, the, Why are these things still fully priced? I don't know. I couldn't tell y'all. Before we do get into the King of the Packs episode today, make sure you guys are hitting the like button right now. Hitting the sub button if you have, man, because a lot of y'all watch the videos and haven't hit the sub button. I mean, what the heck are you doing, bro? Hit the sub button. And also put on post notifications, man. Join the Noti gang. Light up the comment section. Let me know what your King Pack is down below in the comments. And also... Let me know, are there any other tier lists that you guys would like to see? It could be Madden related. It could be anything like, you know, movies, foods, different stuff like that. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys would like to see. So let's get into this, man. Again, I feel like my tier lists are going to look majority the same except for my King Pack because it's going to flop from training variety fan appreciation every week. But until they lower the prices, bro, I feel like these are going to look the same. The only thing that's going to be different is your big banger submissions that you guys post. So again, this pack right here, absolute gas. It's a good way to get rid of training, like I say, every week. Again, Michael Strahan's 97. I sold him for 470 when the dude was literally selling for like six, 700K. You And I pulled that from the exchange, from exchanging my legend pieces. So again, you can do um, ultimate legend exchanges with the legends, get rid of them that way. Super nice prices, you know, for training packs and whatnot to get um, your coins back. So these packs right here, I just don't like them. You guys know this. I just never really did like them. So I'm going to keep putting them there just in case you guys want to rank them. I'll leave them in. All pro fantasy. I think I got a Hulk green. Again, these are going to be in the garbage. Uh, I think I got a Hulk green this week from the all pro fantasy. But other than that, it was all buns, bro. Like I did not make my coins back. I didn't even come close to making my coins back. It is what it is. Let's get into your submissions for the week. So with our first submissions, we had John W9076 with the Omega Orange Tyler Lockett, man. I just cannot pull Omega Orange, man. I don't know what the heck it is. Then we had T Chetty69 with a 95, a 96, a 90. All in one. That's the one round. So you got to take the 96 and the 95. That's a good pack, man. I wish I got a pack like that. Hey, W's for you guys. So John W9076 and T Chetty69, you guys are kings of the all pro fantasy pack for the week and the episode. Love to see it. Keep it up. All right, so now we're into the campus hero again. These, mm, they're okay. I'm going to leave them in decent. They're going to be at the bottom of the decent category because, again, I just don't pull these anymore. They were good when I did need 85s, but now I focus mainly on the legend um, 83 plus pack if I need anything. Clutch packs. Now, these were not clutch this week. These were pretty garbage, I feel like. Did not make anywhere near my coins back in the clutch pack. I'm just going to leave this. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Again, majority of these coin packs in the garbage are all kind of at the same level. You guys didn't even submit any clutch packs this week. I must have missed them. I don't know if you guys submitted them. But I saw no clutch pack submissions this week. So that's just how bad the pack was this week. I mean... I'm going to just leave it at that. I might have to leave it at the bottom of the garbage today just because there were zero submissions. Every pack got a submission except for this pack this week. So it is what it is. We're going to leave it there. Game changers, I'll put it above the clutch because, again, you know, the clutch was really bad this week. We're not even going to front. We're not even going to cap. So game changers will go just above that. Get a gold. 
these have been okay like again like i haven't profited to get a goal opening in so long i'm gonna leave these in the decent um i used to always put these in the banger but it's just to the point that bro like a million get a goal coin like a, a million coins in a get a goal player pack it's gonna be really hard to make your coins back but let's get into you guys' submission all right so i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all when i edited these photos and whatnot i thought that this was a get a goal player pack that bowerman underscore ricky had but it was a get a player pack he got an 85 coin quick sell ronnie stanley so again 500 coins for 110k back man that's a big fat w profit right there then we had savages underscore 56 with the get a goal player submission for a tyreek hill coin quick sell player man if you're getting like 87 coin quick sells 88 coin quick sells you're gonna make your coins back but if you're not getting those or something of that caliber like a 99 ultimate legend it's really tough to make your coins back in a get a gold opening so love to see this bowerman underscore ricky you are king of the get a silver player pack and savages underscore 56 you are king of the get a gold player pack love to see the submissions guys love to see coin quick sell players still popping out all right so now we're on to the pro fantasy now i feel like a lot of people were mad i put these in the garbage can last week it's just for me bro I just don't get good stuff from these i just i don't like i feel like i'm sitting here pulling for like years bro and just not getting anything out of this pack anymore again this used to be this used to be a king pack in the beginning of madden 21 i don't know if you guys remember the pro fantasy it was instant coins like it was instant your coins back and you can make so much coins off of it there was even a point later in the year where the pro fantasy was like the best pack in the game but nowadays I just don't get anything good from it but you guys did get some good stuff so let's check it out all right so bower man underscore ricky man this man had a lot of submissions this week man he was trying to take the king category for every pack and he did take both the pro fantasy submissions this week so he had a 97 jermichael finley i'm pretty sure that's a goaded gold love to see that and then a 96 full the 50 michael vick hey I don't know how much Michael Vick goes for anymore, but that's just a dub. And then the cam on the side, love to see that. So Bowerman underscore Ricky, you are king of the pro fantasy pack for the week and episode. Love to see it. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, we're starting to get on to the last few packs. Also, this um, rookie premiere pack, I don't even think this is in the game anymore. So I got to take this out for the next few weeks of king of the packs. Again, don't pull anymore because you can't pull it anymore. I just kind of lazy. I didn't want to have to edit a new tier maker list, whatever we call these things. So I'll put it here because, again, you literally can't pull this pack anymore. And I hope you guys did pull that pack because it was absolute gas when it was in the store. So um, we get into the elite pack. This pack, dude, I feel like this pack as well. Like, I just never get anything good. But the clutch was so bad this week that I just have to put it at the bottom. Like, no submissions, nothing good for me. So I'm going to leave it there. No submissions for elite. That will be next week. So, um... The draft pack this is also not in the store anymore and i'm sad because i wanted to do another video on this pack so kind of upsets me that it's not in the store anymore but hey um put in the do not pull because you literally can't pull it um get his silvers again i'll even put uh like again it's not a bad pack like literally a bowerman i think it was pulled the 85 coin quick sell player like these packs are pretty fire but at the end of the year bro i'm not gonna sit around pulling the get a silver player packs anymore just because like I want to pull some big banger pulls. I mean, coin quick sells are nice, but I want to pull some like 99 gold stuff. You know, I want to get some golden tickets, the ultimate legends, all that good stuff. So I'm going to leave that there. Again, still not a bad pack. Um, Now we're on to the final three ultimate legend packs. I can't even put them in the do not pull anymore because I pull them every week. So I can't put them there. I'll put them above the clutch pack. But again, this pack is just not good. It's just not good for me. It's good for you guys, it seems like. But for me, I never really get good stuff from the Ultimate Legend Fantasy. I couldn't even tell you the last time I even got a 99 out of that pack. So let's get into your guys' submissions, though. All right, so here are some big banger pulls. We had Colton, 5206482 with a 99 Jim Brown. And also just a little 92 John Han on the side. Love to see that gold 99 popping out then we had tim richie 54 with the omega orange darius slay 98 overall and is that that's the first round right yeah that's the first round that he pulled that too i i wonder i mean dude the first and second round are like 100 better than the third rounds that's just for me i don't know if it's for you guys let me know in the comments if they're better for you but hey first round cheese and then a 99 jim brown love to see that so colton 52064820 and tim richie 54 you guys are kings of the ultimate legend fantasy packs for the week and episode w's right there all right guys so we're on to the final two packs the best packs in the game the most entertaining packs that you could pull so 
I got a lot to say about these packs, actually, even though it's Endgame. Like, these are the two packs that everybody is still pulling. Like, everything else, you know, people pull them. But these two packs right here, people pull these packs. So, let's get into it. Um, I'm just going to straight up get this out of the way right now. And I'm going to put the fan appreciation at the King Pack. Because, dude, the Training Variety Pack, again, it's a good pack. But it's sold this week. I, I don't know if it was selling for you guys. But for me, I had two 1 million openings on YouTube. Two different videos. In both of them, I fell short of my 1 million training. By, I think the first one was like 120,000. So I got 880. And then the second one, I think I got 980. So like it was almost a break even. But like, bro, it's like, why are these packs? I'm getting power ups. I'm getting jerseys. I'm getting like low buns team of the week cards. Like, I don't need those. We want to see the fire. Again, I'm still getting golden tickets. But the amount of like, I'm not getting 97s, 96s, 95s as much anymore. And those play a big role in a training variety pack opening. Like you need to get those as well. Even if you're getting some 99s. Coin quick sells weren't popping out. I had a milli where I got 120,000 coin quick sells. How? How is that a thing? So I don't know. Again, I don't think EA is nerfing packs or anything. But I don't know. These training varieties just have not been hitting for me personally. So let me know in the comments. Have the training varieties been hitting for you guys? Uh, my fan appreciation opening i sold and i didn't even record my first fire five pack it was like literally insane 99 98 like 97 like craziness and i didn't even record it you, if you guys watch that video you know what i'm talking about but let's get into the submissions that you guys put for the training variety then the fan appreciation pack all right it seems like these guys are just the usual suspects nowadays when it comes to the training variety pack so we got griffin cole 15 with a bunch of golden tickets here omega orange darius slay in the mix too love to see that then tim ritchie 54 with the double montez sweat just a bunch of golden tickets again that's kind of how the training variety submissions are looking nowadays i think montez sweat still is selling for like 220 though so he's one of the good golden tickets that you can't pull so love to see that griffin cole 15 tim ritchie 54 you guys are the kings of the training variety pack for the week and the episode keep doing what y'all doing keep getting that fire pulse all right guys and we're not doing double submissions for training variety and fan appreciation there wasn't really enough to be doing all of that so we just got one submission for the fan appreciation these were both bangers so colton 52064820 with the 99 boast of jackson and a wyatt teller 97 in the same pack then t chatty 69 with a 99 teddy bridgewater and a 96 brett Favre. i mean Dude, fan appreciations are just still so far, man. Go If you want a gold 99, if you want your coins back majority of the time, I think fan appreciation pack is the way to go. So you'd love to see you guys getting some fire pulls. So Colton520, 64820, and Chetty 69 you guys are. Kings of the fan appreciation pack for the week and the episode. Love to see these big banger gold 99 pulls, man. Keep it up. All right, guys, and that is king of the packs. I'm still kind of salty that EA hasn't reduced the packs, man, by like 50%. They do it every year, and this year they just haven't said a word. They haven't done a thing. I don't know why they haven't. Again, it, it kind of like, I don't want to say it revives Madden. It just makes it a little bit more bearable at this point in the year when I can pay like 50% for a pack. Still do pack openings. We can have a king of the pack shake up on the tier list. Like it would be so much fun. But hey, you know EA Sports, sometimes they're stingy. Sometimes they don't want to give up that bread. So it is what it is, man. We're going to see. I think this will be the last chance. Like this week will be the last chance to reduce packs. Who knows? We will see. But guys, that's going to be all for the video. So make sure you guys are hitting the like button, hitting the sub button, putting on post notifications, dropping down below what your king pack is, and also some other tier lists that you guys would like to see me do, you know, until Madden 22 comes out. Guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video or stream, man. It has been real. Peace. Bye.